hey guys welcome to my new video in this video i'm going to be teaching you how to install flutter with premium gateway to your flutter application but before i get started how we uh just about what really brings this solution at first i was trying to integrate um this particular package let me go to the home page let me go to the home page so i was trying to integrate the flutter wave package itself to my new course that i'm currently working on but unfortunately it's not working i tested this first result it's not working with flutter 3.0.2 i think that is the version i'm currently working on flutter 3.0.2 yeah so um this doesn't work and this standards also does not work i tested this this guy this guy even this nrfp so after after trying this one two three four and it's not working so i have no choice just to come up with a solution from my hand so at the end i come up with this simple hardy flutter with a uh, working version so this preview that we have here we update this very soon this is from my recent package i pushed this package last a month and uh, some months ago so in case you are looking for a package to use for your um, post or product something you can use this package to do that is a comment box so anyway let's get back to what we are now looking for so the main purpose of this video is to show you how this ad flutter with working version works so um to get started you are going to install this package using the um same command we have here just copy what you have here this ad flutter with working version copy what you have here then go to your um package pop the spec so at the moment this is my package tree itself so you might not see it uh, because this is published to the repository area so just copy that and paste it right in this place let me show you how to do that so in case you are looking how this is done so ctrl c then over here either here or right after here after this flutter okay but let me just add it to what i have here so just take it down a bit and paste it once you paste it here click on save and it's going to download but i can't download it because this package itself this is the entire um source code so i can't um download it now i have closed that so once you do that it's going to download the package for you and you are going to have it so at the moment we are on the same page so now this is the example dot that's why this one is the main class that i used to generate this entire code and it's connected to an html interface this html interface is what process the web view format okay so over here now i'm going to show you how that work so all these core components don't bother it does not really concern you so don't give yourself stress don't give yourself headache just go straight to the example that that's that if you are working on this um package if you want to use this package you can go to the example dot that and over here you can see the example so let me close uh, my sidebar let me close my terminal so over here now i'm ask i'm uh, i'm printing this uh, guy this amount controller into my new map data so this map data is returned to my class at the flutter with p so now we have the amount we have the email we have the phone number from full name controller and every other nfs treaty you need to pass so this icon is actually aqsq.com icon okay that is where my course is located yeah so um transaction reference is this guy so you can also use this transaction reference you can use anything you want but this is just a solution for my students um based on the flutter project we are working on so now this interface let me open my terminal so that once i click on pay you are going to see what we have so i'm going to enter the name which is adela higher dj okay adela higher dj then the email is adela higher dj one two three four five at gmail.com okay the phone number is 070 3480 good and the amount is 1200 okay so now i'm going to clear my terminal so once i click on pay 
this pay button as you can see this is the text here so this pay button is going to trigger this on press functionality so this on press is going to get this data after this data has been gotten it's going to push it down to this new page and this page is being pushed by the navigator dot push just like the normal way we um, pass the uh, routes functionality using the material page route so push it down to this guy and this guy accept it as the data so you don't bother yourself don't worry about this part so that it won't get too um confusing to you so once you send it once this guy is being pointed to this added flutter with pay then the response that it will be coming from this page after the payment has been successful is going to be logged into this response and this response can log here and also with this packet that i created you don't need to verify once you pass your secret key it's going to automatically verify the payment for you so is it that your packs the secret key for life or test is going to automatically verify the payment so the payment verification part is already undoed so this is it here. we verify the payment can you see there's a barrier authentication that is being undoed automatically for you okay so this project is in better mode but you can also do to improve it so you once you test it and it works fine you can go with it okay so i'm going to click on pay now and let's see the magic so it's initializing the transaction okay so let's hold on why that is being processed okay making payment for flutter with payments so your title will automatically show up once um the data has been processed okay so it's loading uh your network also determine my network speed is not really fast so sometimes it might slow okay so the next thing i'm going to do now is to enter this uh, card number so i'm going to go to my browser or go to the testing section scroll down to where we have cards successful payment card so i'm going to use the successful payment card here so now let me use this card five five three one okay it's eight six six five two okay one four two nine five zero then the month and year old nine two two and the CVV is five six four awesome so now let me open this VS code again now as you can see this thing is still processing so we don't have any response yet so once it's done processing there will be response so let me clear the existing log we have so I'm going to click on pay okay and that is going to process so my network is a bit slow don't mind my internet so i already click the pay i don't want to click it two times okay i think it's trying to get the javascript okay let me click it again okay it's working now so let's go with why that is processed okay proceed proceed it's loading it's loading it's loading it's loading okay so let me enter this data one two three four five submit now it says payment was successfully so now it's now verifying the transaction so you just have to hold on while the transaction is being verified so i got an email just now by flutterwave so once it's done verifying you are going to see this response here it's going to log it directly to this place so as you can see we are returned back to this page and this is the response can you see status is what's successful so guys if you see this package as a problem solver please give it a thumb up and also comment on this video and if you have any means that we're going to improve this package you can comment your idea and then we work together on how to resolve or know how, how to improve this package so guys thank you for um choosing this package to work with love you bye